Chapter 1226, Both Side Suffering Losses The fire lotus was merely the size of a palm and was suspended over Xiao Yan's palm. The core of the lotus was made up of four colors. At a glance, it appeared incomparably beautiful. However, under this beautiful surface hid a annihilation-like terrifying strength. Xiao Yan's expression had became quite pale at this moment. A heavenly flame that was merged from four types of heavenly flames was not as easy to create as he had thought. Although he had the experience from merging the Annihilation Fire Lotus in the past, the life-transforming flame was not a true heavenly flame. There was naturally less trouble when merging it. This time around, however, he had used four types of genuine heavenly flames. The difficulty of merger was exposed almost immediately. If it was not because Xiao Yan's strength could be considered to have soared and that his soul had advanced to the so-called soul state, it was likely that he would not be able to truly successfully merge the Annihilation Fire Lotus even if he possessed four types of heavenly flames. Moreover, the Fire Lotus at this moment was not a complete success. The destructive energy within it was far too terrifying. Even Xiao Yan could only carefully mediate it until an equilibrium. Only then did he dare to use it to deal with an enemy. Cold sweat continuously appeared on Xiao Yan's forehead. After which, it followed his face and fell like flowing water. His eyes were staring intently at the fire lotus slowly rotating on his palm. Vast and mighty spiritual strength was continuously poured into it. What a terrifying destructive strength! Old ghost's eye seeing in the sky a short distance away also had a drastic change in expression because of this scene. The destructive force that was spreading from within the fire lotus even caused an uneasiness to surge into his heart. How is it possible for this brat to display such a frightening attack with his nine-star dozong's strength? The corner of old ghost's eye seeing twitched slightly. Immediately, murderous desire surged in his eyes. This person must not be allowed to live. With this thought that was filled with murderous intent flashing over his heart, the expression of old ghost Xi Seeing had instantly become ferocious. His body moved and he transformed into an afterimage while rushing towards the location where Xiao Yan was located. He could sense that the attack of Xiao Yan had yet to be fully completed. If he interrupted it at this moment, he would definitely cause Xiao Yan to suffer a backlash. At that time, he would not only be able to destroy this terrifying attack but he would also be able to finish off Xiao Yan while doing so. It was really killing two birds with one stone. The figure of old ghost Xi Xin had just moved when it was discovered by Xi Yan. She hurriedly cried, Big fellow! Quick! Stop him! Xiang Zhan by the side laughed bitterly upon hearing this. All he could do was to nod his head. His feet stomped onto the empty air and his body rushed out like a cannonball. He caught up with old ghost Xi Xing after accelerating for a couple of times. With a furious cry, he raised his metallic fist and violently smashed towards the latter's back. Zoom! Xiang Zhan's actual body was an ancient dragon bear. The strength of his physical body was extremely frightening. When this punch was thrown, even the space itself was bent a little. The invisible air formed a circular concave arc on the surface of his fist. A deafening rushing wind sound continued to resound over the place. A fierce glint also flashed across old ghost Xi Seeing's eyes when he sensed that ferocious punch of Xiang Zhan behind him. He glanced at Xiao Yan a short distance away, after which, he clenched his teeth. His body was twisted in a strange manner but he actually did not turn around to fight. Xiang Zhan was also stunned when old ghost Xi Xing did not turn around. However, he could not be bothered with this. Since the you did not turn around, you will just receive my beating. Bang! The punch that was mixed with a fierce force finally tore through the air and violently landed on the shoulder on old ghost Xi Xing. A low and deep meat collision sound suddenly appeared. When Xiang Zhan's fist landed on old ghost Xi Xing's shoulder, some dense black fog immediately appeared. The black fog was just like cotton and reduced the force on the punch significantly. However, there was still some force penetrating through it and heavily collided onto on Xi Seeing's shoulders. Humph! 
This heavy attack directly caused a paleness to surge up old ghost Xi Seeing's face. A slight bone cracking sound was also quietly emitted. Clearly, this punch by Xiang Zhan had directly broke a couple of his bones. A ferocious smile surfaced in old ghost Xi Seeing's eyes despite having forcefully received a punch from Xiang Zhan. By borrowing the push force from the latter's fist wind, his speed had suddenly soared. Within a flash, he had appeared above Xiao Yan's head. A ferocious and deep laughter was emitted from his throat. You fool! Xi Yan's originally pale face no longer had even a trace of blood when she saw this scene. She stomped her foot and chided Xiang Zhan angrily. Xiang Zhan had a face containing a bitter smile when he saw that old ghost Xi Xing had went all out to endure a punch just so that he could kill Xiao Yan. Immediately, Xiang Zhan gritted his teeth and charged forward in a stifled manner. He wanted to send old ghost Xi Xing flying at this last moment. However, it was obviously too late for him to move now. The moment old ghost Xi Xing appeared above Xiao Yan's forehead, the seal formed by his hand changed abruptly. Black fog surged out in all directions. In an instant, it had formed a five feet large dark black ghost claw in front of him. The ghost claw had a dark and deep color that was terrifying. It was sinister, appearing just like the hand of a death god climbing out from hell. At a glance, it caused one to feel a chill over one's entire body. Nine imprisoning ghost hand. The expression of old ghost Xi Xing became increasingly ferocious after dark black ghost claw was formed. He cried out coldly towards Xiao Yan. Immediately, the ghost claw was swung downwards without mercy. It violently slammed towards Xiao Yan's chest. This attack by old ghost Xi Xing had basically used all the Dou Qi within his body. That ghost claw might not be large but space crumbled wherever it passed, revealing a dark black hole in the process. That ghost claw appeared even more sinister and frightening when mixing with this hollow space. Chi. The speed of the ghost claw was extremely swift. Within a flash, it had penetrated through the empty air and appeared in front of Xiao Yan. That dense wind, which was contained on the ghost claw, caused Xiao Yan to feel a kind of extremely dangerous aura. At this kind of extremely critical moment, there was no longer anyone who could rescue Xiao Yan in time. Xiao Yan also appeared to be aware of the current situation he was in. He looked at the savage face of old ghost Xi Xing and a crazy expression suddenly surged into his dark black eyes. If you wish to kill me, you will also accompany me to death. When the crazy expression surged within his eyes, Xiao Yan ceased bothering about the energy within the Annihilation Fire Lotus that had yet to stabilize. His hand shook and the Fire Lotus left it. The Fire Lotus transformed into a fire glow that rushed towards old ghost Xi Xing, who was within close proximity. Bang! An earth-shaking loud sound suddenly resounded over the place when the Fire Lotus left Xiao Yan's hand. At this moment, a annihilation-like strength swept out like a storm in the sky. The entire mountain range trembled like an earthquake at this moment. Numerous enormous crack lines spread in all directions with the valley at its center. That large hall also began to sway unsteadily under this trembling. Numerous experts from the Hall of Souls were so shocked that they covered their heads and fled like mice. The annihilation storm that suddenly arrived also stirred the attention of the Dozuns from both parties in the sky. They glanced sideways and astonishment surfaced within their eyes. After which, they ceased pestering their opponents as they hurriedly withdrew. All of them were afraid of being implicated by the destructive force. Boom! The dark and dense ghost claw had finally rushed over the moment this destructive force spread. After which, it heavily slammed onto Xiao Yan's chest. That majestic dark and dense force suddenly erupted like a volcano. Grug! Xiao Yan's expression instantly paled upon suffering this lethal attack. A mouthful of blood fog was spat out. There was even a clear bone breaking sound being transmitted from his chest. His body was also shaken by that terrifying force until it flew out like a cannonball. The corner of Xiao Yan's mouth revealed a dense arc the moment his body was sent flying. This was because he saw the face of old ghost Xi Xing, which was covered with horror at this moment. 
the Annihilation Fire Lotus had exploded. Bang! The firestorm that was a thousand feet large instantly erupted. If one looked up from below, the storm appeared as though it connected the sky and earth, appearing just like a miracle. The firestorm was rampant as a destructive ripple spread like a wave. That incomparably firm large black hall within the valley had finally collapsed at this moment. Many experts from the Hall of Souls emitted a puff sound upon being struck by the ripple of destruction and turned into a cluster of dark black ash. The destructive ripple continued to spread for nearly a thousand meters. Everything was red within a thousand meter radius. The dense forest was also destroyed at this moment. The Dozuns from both parties in the distant sky watched the valley that had basically vanished within an instant. A shock surged into their eyes immediately. After which, they inhaled a deep breath of air. Such a terrifying destructive strength was something that even some of the Tianzun within the Hall of Souls had difficulty achieving. Boom! Xiao Yan's body, which was flying backwards, heavily shot onto a mountain wall. Large rocks rolled and buried him inside. Soon after, a lovely figure hurried over. She waved her hand and shattered the large rock. After which, she grabbed Xiao Yan from inside and swiftly rose into the sky, dodging the spreading destructive ripple. How is he? Xiang Zhan flashed and appeared beside Xiao Yan. He hurried asked as he looked at Xiao Yan, who was covered with fresh blood. The latter's chest had even sunk inward. Xi Yan's face was so dark and solemn that it was frightening. This was the first time that she had seen Xiao Yan suffer such a serious injury. A full force attack by a five star Dozun was something that no one present could receive. Even less needed to be said for Xiao Yan. Swoosh swoosh. The sound of rushing wind resounded over the sky. Feng Zunzhe, Little Fairy Doctor, and the rest hurriedly came over in a flash. Their expressions changed when they saw Xiao Yan was covered with fresh blood. Just as Little Fairy Doctor and the rest had a drastic change in expression because of Xiao Yan's injury, an intense spatial fluctuation was suddenly emitted from within the enormous firestorm. Immediately, two vast and mighty aura that was even more powerful than old ghost Xi Seeing slowly appeared. The hearts of Feng Zunzhe's group immediately sunk when he sensed these two vast and mighty aura. This aura, was that of someone from the Hall of Souls. The firestorm swept over the entire place while those two majestic auras quickly became clear. A moment later, the firestorm suddenly paused. After which, a vast and mighty strength surged out from within the storm. It forcefully reversed the storm, shaking it until it slowly disappeared. Old Muku sighed in relief within his heart when he saw the firestorm that gradually disappeared. If the firestorm was allowed to continue run rampant, it was likely that the other people from the Hall of Souls would really be completely buried under it. Following the slow disappearance of the firestorm, two elderly figures also slowly appeared in everyone's sight. That majestic aura had suddenly soared to the peak at this moment. An enormous pressure descended from the sky, causing the hearts of everyone present to feel tensed. In so many years, Someone who dares to destroy my Hall of Soul. Xiao Yan, you are the first. An unfamiliar icy cold elder voice slowly resounded over the sky as these two figures appeared. Chapter 1227, Mysterious Person The expressions of Feng Zunzhe and the rest changed slightly upon hearing the icy cold voice that resounded over the sky. Immediately, their eyes focused intently on the spot where the firestorm had disappeared. There, two, no, three figures had appeared within their line of sight. Two of the three who had appeared were unknown old men. They were dressed in black and white robes respectively. The clear color made it easy for others to identify them. At this moment, the expressions of these two were covered with a shady expression. A branch hall was destroyed. If one looked into the matter, it was likely that all the members of the Hall of Soul present would not be able to escape responsibility. After everyone's eyes swept over these two people, their gazes paused onto the figure, who was between the two of them. In an instant, their expressions became a little interesting. The condition of that figure was currently not much better than Xiao Yan. He was similarly covered with fresh blood. 
The skin that was revealed outside of his robes had revealed a large about of blood and flesh. His sleeves had already been completely blown off. Moreover, fresh blood continuously dripped from his sleeves. One of his arm had actually disappeared. Seeing this miserable manner of old ghost Xi Xing, regardless of whether it was Feng Zunzhe or old Mu Gu, all of them were completely stunned. Immediately, his heart violently inhaled a deep breath of cool air. Finally, numerous shocked eyes turned towards Xiao Yan, who was in Xi Yan's embrace. This fellow, he actually relied on his nine-star Dozong's strength to turn an expert at the peak of a five-star Dozun into such a miserable manner. Gulp! Old Mugu swallowed a mouthful of saliva while his face was covered with perspiration. Those eyes which he used to look at Xiao Yan had an additional fear and joy. He rejoiced that Xiao Yan did not use such a frightening fire lotus against him back then. His strength was far inferior to old ghost Xi Xing. If he was to suffer such a blow, he would definitely perish on the spot. Cough. Old ghost Xi Xing coughed intensely. Mouthfuls of fresh blood was continuously being vomited. One could even see some internal organ fragments within the fresh blood. Clearly, old ghost Xi Xing had not only lost an arm this time around but his internal injury was also unprecedentedly serious. It was normal for him to even die. Everyone looked at each other upon seeing this scene. Their hearts quietly sighed for this old man. Even if he could survive from such serious injuries, it was likely that some sequelae would remain. It was not impossible for him to have difficulty advancing his strength any further in the future. Kill, kill that brat. I... I want to tear him into tens of thousands of pieces. Blood foam continued to seep out from the corner of old ghost Xi Xing's mouth. However, his eyes were still viciously staring at Xiao Yan. The hatred he felt towards the latter was monstrous at this moment. With his peak of the five-star doze unstrength, he would actually end up suffering such a terrible loss in the hands of a nine-star dozone brat. How could he calm the fury within his heart? The two black and white robed old man by the side looked at this manner of old ghost Xi Xing. Although their expressions were still icy cold, there was an astonishment surfacing in their eyes. They were clearly aware of the strength of this old ghost. He might not be comparable to the two of them but his strength was not far away. It was unexpected that he would actually end up with such a fate today. You old ghost! You really can only blame yourself for this. If you used the spatial jade to summon the both of us once you discovered them, how would you end up in such a fate? That black-robed old man's tone contained some fury. Currently, the branch hall has been destroyed. If the hall chief pursues the manor, you will suffer for it. Forget it, it is pointless for you to tell him this now. Don't you know what kind of character this old ghost has? Capturing Xiao Yan is considered a deed with great merit. Earlier, he thought that victory was assured and would naturally not call the both of us over to divide the credit. He he, I think that if it is not because he has been forced by the other party until such a manner, he would not use the spatial jade. The white-robed elder coldly laughed. Some fury also surged in the eyes of old ghost Xi Xing when he saw this faint mockery from these two. However, he currently did not possess the ability to display even the slightest anger. The intense pain that was continuously transmitted from within his body clearly told him that the injury that he had suffered this time around had already reached a fatal extent. If he was not careful, it was likely that he might not even be able to keep this life of his. Greetings to Black White Tian Zuns. That old Mugu and the others also hurriedly flew over at this moment and respectfully greeted these two old men. All of you also have some responsibility for the destruction of the branch hall. White Tian Zun glanced at the couple of them and spoke in a faint voice. The expressions of old Mugu and the rest changed upon hearing this. However, they did not dare to say anything more. All they could do was to smile bitterly and admit it. Currently, the only way for all of you to use merit to make up for your mistake is to capture Xiao Yan. All of you should be aware of this point, Black Tian Zun coldly said. Old Mugu and the others hurriedly nodded. From the looks of Xiao Yan's condition, 
he had clearly fought with old ghost Xixing until they were both seriously injured. He should no longer be able to use another of that terrifying fire lotus attack. Wei Tianzun patted old ghost Xixing gently. A gentle force entered the valley. There was still some members of the Hall of Souls who had managed to keep their little lives there. At this moment, they could only get them to look after this old fellow first. Don't delay any longer. Let's attack. Together. Black Tianzun spoke in a deep voice. Currently the strength on their size held the absolute advantage. He would naturally not give up this kind of advantage. Currently, the most important thing was to grab Xiao Yan first. Otherwise, once the Hall Chief become furious, the people here would end up suffering. It is actually Black White Tianzun, unexpectedly, even these two old demons have hurried over. Feng Zunxia looked at the distant white and black old men. Their expressions were somewhat dark and solemn as he slowly spoke. Today, it is likely not easy to escape. The strength of these two old demons are a little stronger than old ghost Xixing. Adding the few remaining Dozuns, this lineup surpass us, Taijian Zunxia spoke in an indifferent manner. Although the current situation was dangerous, there was still not much of a change to his expression. It was as though he was not involved in his situation. Looks like, we might have to go all out once. Zi Yan, bring Xiao Yan and leave, little fairy doctor softly said. It was clearly already impossible for them to withdraw safely in this kind of situation. Someone must stay behind to delay these people. Little fairy doctor's voice had just sounded when her arm was suddenly grabbed. She turned her head, only to see that the one who had grabbed her was Xiao Yan, who was covered in fresh blood. She involuntarily felt a heartache upon seeing the latter's appearance. This was also the first time that she had saw Xiao Yan, who was usually laughing, appearing so miserable. Although his opponent was at the peak of the five-star Dozun class. Do not leave some last words. It is not impossible to escape. Zi Yan clenched her silver teeth. She appeared to have made some resolution as she spoke in a deep voice. All of you should quickly follow me in a while. Do not hesitate. Otherwise, even I will not have any solution. Zi Yan did not give them any time for inquiries after her words sounded. She bit the tip of her tongue and a drop of dark golden blood suddenly flew out. Finally, it landed on the tip of her finger. Zi Yan's expression became deathly white when this drop of golden blood appeared. Even her body began to sway unsteadily. Zi Yan forcefully stabilized her body. Her hand seal changed. Immediately, that delicate finger of hers, which had touched the dark golden blood, suddenly cut across the empty space in front of her. A spatial crack line slowly appeared. Zi Yan's hand seal changed once again when this spatial crack line appeared. The crack line was slowly opened like a tightly shut room door. Following the appearance of this spatial door, some dense cold sweat appeared on Zi Yan's clear forehead. You wish to leave. The activity of this area had immediately been discovered by the black white Tianzuns. Their expressions sunk as they let out a cold cry. They waved their sleeves and two mighty black fog pillar cut through space before rushing over towards Xiao Yan's group. Feng Zunxia and the rest had a slight change in expression when they saw the black fog pillar rushing over in an explosive manner. He was about to act when Zi Yan spoke in a deep voice, there is no time to fight. Whoever fights will not be able to leave. Everyone's body paused upon hearing this. Their expressions were a little complicated. An instant later, little fairy doctor looked at the black fog pillar that was rapidly arriving. She clenched her silver teeth and was just about to rush out when she was being forced back by a palm. Taijian Zunxia immediately stepped forward. His voice was indifferent as he said, All of you should leave. Yao Chen, you have done me a great favor back then. Today, I shall return it to you. Taijian Zunxia laughed faintly. Before Feng Zunxia could say anything, his body moved and rushed out explosively. The Dou Qi within his body surged and forcefully received those two black fog pillars. However, 
that frightening force shook him until he directly spat out a mouthful of blood. With his two star doe's unstrength, how could he be a match for the black white Tianzun? Ha ha, I have taken my great revenge. All that I seek for is death. Being able to die in the hands of the Hall of Soul Tianzun is really worthwhile. Tai Jianzun rubbed the trace of blood from the corner of his mouth. He laughed out loud towards the sky. Immediately, everyone was stunned to discover that the Chi within the former's body had suddenly become wild and violent at this moment. Be careful. This fellow is about to self-destruct. The faces of the black white Tianzuns changed slightly upon seeing this. They quietly cursed crazy within his heart. This fellow was really intending to seek death. While Tai Jian Zunzhe was blocking the Dozuns from the Hall of Soul, the spatial door was finally slowly opened. Immediately, a rich silver light surged out from within and wrapped around Xiao Yan's group. The light had just wrapped around them when the spatial door suddenly trembled intensely. Xi Yan's face also changed slightly. With her current strength, she had strained herself too much by forcefully attempting to open a spatial door and shuttle through the emptiness. Moreover, the most important issue was that she was bringing a group of people with her now. Just when the spatial door shook with greater intensity and a despair involuntarily rose within Xi Yan's heart, the trembling spatial door suddenly began to strangely solidify. Light once again burst out. This time around, the light was actually unprecedentedly strong. The spatial fluctuation was also extremely stable. This. Zi Yan was startled when she saw this kind of change. Immediately, she appeared to have understood something. A gratitude flashed across her eyes. Her hand seal suddenly changed and the light from within the spatial door burst out. Soon after, a frightening suction force surged from it and forcefully dragged Xiao Yan's group into the spatial door. After everyone entered it, the spatial door shook and disappeared. Ugh! A helpless sigh finally sounded after Xiao Yan's group had successfully entered the spatial door. A dark black spatial crack line suddenly appeared behind Taiji Unzunzhe, who was about to self-destruct, and swallowed him inside. This sudden unexpected change directly caused the black white Tianzuns to be stunned for a moment. A long while later, their eyes suddenly turned towards the location where Xiao Yan's group was at. However, the place was completely empty. Their expressions immediately turned green. Chapter 1228, Serious Injury This was an extremely vast and endless desolated plains. One could still see some green grass patches on the plains. However, most of it was a desolated bright yellow color. Occasionally, some eagles would fly in the sky above while being accompanied by a couple of sharp eagle cry. Desolation covered this entire plain. At a certain moment, the space of this place rippled. Immediately, a dark black hole was split opened in this empty space. A couple of human figures exited from it in a somewhat miserable manner. After which, they landed on the ground. Zi Yan, are you all right? Little fairy doctor hurriedly asked when she landed and saw Zi Yan's pale white face. Zi Yan shook her head. Purple light flashed on the body. Immediately, she began to slowly shrunk. Within the blink of an eye, she had turned back into the little girl from before. She panted a little before wiping off the cold sweat on her forehead and said, It's nothing. I will be fine after resting a little. You should take a look at Xiao Yan's condition first. Feng Zunzhe by the side held Xiao Yan's pulse the moment he appeared. His expression became increasingly ugly after a deep probe. Everyone's heart sunk when they saw this manner of his. While everyone were completely silent, the dark black ring on Xiao Yan's finger shook. Yao Lao's illusory body flashed and appeared. He grabbed Xiao Yan's pulse. A moment later, a murderous intent suddenly surged within his eyes. He coldly said, Old ghost Zai Xing, what a vicious tactic. Old fellow. Feng Zunzhe felt a lament when he saw his old friend at this moment. However, now was not the time to catch up on old times. The most important thing now was Xiao Yan's injuries. Mr. Yao Lao, how is Xiao Yan's injury? 
Little fairy doctor's pretty face was a little pale as she softly asked. The veins in his body are all shattered and 70% of his bones are broken. That palm of old ghost Xi Xing had contained all of his strength. Yao Lao's voice was low and deep as he spoke. That usual smiling face of his currently contained a ferociousness no matter how one saw it. Hall of Soul, from today onwards, we will not rest until one of us die. Yao Chen's savage voice caused Feng Zunzhe by the side to sigh softly. It was the first time that he saw the calm and indifferent Yao Lao show such an emotion in so many years. Even when Han Feng had betrayed Yao Lao back then, the latter did not show such a surge in emotion. It seemed that the importance of Xiao Yan in his heart was quite great. Little fairy doctor's already pale face became even whiter when she heard Yao Chen's words. Her delicate body sway unsteadily. Zi Yan by the side hurriedly supported her upon seeing this. Such a serious injury. Tian Huo Zunzhe and Xiang Zhan exchanged looks with one another before sighing softly. Forcefully receiving a full force palm from an expert at the peak of the five star Dozun class. Forget about Xiao Yan, even the two of them would likely end up losing their lives on the spot. It was already not easy for Xiao Yan to still have a breath left at this moment. There should still be some method, right? Aren't you known for being able to save someone as long as that person still has a breath left? Feng Zunzhe hurriedly opened his mouth to speak after seeing that everyone had dark hazy faces. However, he smiled bitterly when he spoke. He had forgotten about Yao Lao's current condition. Not only did the latter not possess a body but he had been turned quite weak by the Hall of Soul. How would he possess the kind of strength that he had when he was at his peak? Yao Lao's expression was gloomy. He sat beside Xiao Yan and looked at the latter's face, which was covered with fresh blood. The killing intent within his heart once again surged without control. It was the first time that he had such a rich desire to kill in his heart in these many years. He was aware that if it was not because Xiao Yan had come to rescue him, the latter would definitely not allow himself to fall into such a dangerous situation, given his shrewdness. Calm down first. Xiao Yan had rescued you after much difficulty. Aren't you delivering yourself to be captured if you head to the Hall of Soul now? How could Feng Zunzhe, who had been acquainted with Yao Lao for so many years, not know what the latter was thinking after seeing his expression? Immediately, he patted Yao Lao's shoulder and softly spoke. The most important thing now is not to seek revenge but to rescue Xiao Yan. Yao Chen also inhaled a deep breath of air after hearing this. He was aware that Feng Zunzhe was right. At this moment, he must definitely not create trouble. You should think properly about what should be done. With your alchemist skills, you should have some solution, Feng Zunzhe said. Yao Lao inclined his head slightly. The ferocious expression on his face was withdrawn. His hand rubbed over Xiao Yan's pulse and carefully probed deeply into the condition within the latter's body. When he focused and probed deeply, the familiar Yao Zunzhe aura on his body also gradually seeped out. Back then, he had shook the entire continent. Who was not aware of the name Yao Zunzhe? Many super strong individuals wished to befriend him but was unable to find a way to do so. Although he had currently fell into a low point, it was not difficult for him to recover to his peak with his ability. However, these were not the things that he currently needed to consider. If any accident was to occur to Xiao Yan, it was likely that Yao Lao's remaining life would be lived with a crazy vengeance. Seeing Yao Lao focusing his mind and engaging in a deep examination, the few people beside him also did not dare to make any noise and disturb him. Xiang Zhan and Tian Huo Zunzhe separated and guarded against any sudden and unexpected situations. A quiet and tense atmosphere lingered over this entire area. It was a long while later before Yao Chen, who had his eyes shut, suddenly opened them. He softly said, The situation, is a little better than I had imagined. Little fairy doctor and the rest let out a soft sigh of relief upon hearing this. Currently, they were unable to endure even more blows. There is a way to save him. Feng Zunzhe also asked while feeling rejoice. The constitution of this little fellow is extremely strong. 
That palm from old ghost Xi Xing should have severed all of his life force. However, he had managed to forcefully endure through it. Moreover, there is the heavenly flame guarding his heart. Hence, it is not truly fatal, Yao Lao fondled his beard and slowly said. Moreover, the interior of his body currently has a heavenly flame helping him repair his injured body. You mean, the three thousand burning flame? Little fairy doctor asked softly. Yes, the three thousand burning flame is known as the undying flame. Little fellow, who has swallowed and refined it, also possess this kind of special characteristic. As long as the three thousand burning flame is not extinguished, it is possible for any injury in his body, regardless of how severe it was, to be healed, Yao Lao nodded and said. However, he is currently already unconscious. The recovery by the three thousand burning flame is automatically activated. This kind of heavenly flame need to absorb the strength of the stars. Hence, we must find a place where the strength of the stars is extremely great. Only then is it possible to increase the recovery rate. Strength of the stars. Feng Zunzhe was involuntarily startled when he heard this. He immediately laughed, let's go to the falling star pavilion then. You have forgotten that the place where the falling star pavilion was built at is originally a meteorite from space. Even after countless number of years, the strength of the stars within it is still gathered there without scattering. It is the most suitable place for Xiao Yan to recuperate. A joy flashed past Yao Lao's eyes when he heard these words. He had really nearly forgotten about that good place. With the help of that meteorite, this little fellow's life can be considered to be saved, Yao Lao softly laughed. Additionally, it is not that I wish to say words that will give others a blow but even though Xiao Yan's life is saved, such a serious injury will definitely affect his training. If in the future, in the future he discovers that his strength has halted and is unable to advance, with Xiao Yan's character, it is likely very difficult for him to accept it. Feng Zunzhe appeared to have thought of something. He hesitated for a moment before softly speaking with a bitter smile. The heart of little fairy doctor by the side, which had just been relaxed, immediately became tensed. She understood Xiao Yan very well. If the latter discovered that his strength would no longer be able to advance even an inch in the future, it was likely that he would feel worse than having been killed. KK, there is no need to be worried about this. Currently, Xiao Yan's body had already become so broken that it cannot be more so. This is an opportunity for him to break through his current shell and obtain a new self, you should come and sense the interior of his body. See if you can find something familiar. Yao Lao merely shook his head and laughed when he heard the concern. Feng Zunzhe was startled. He extended his hand as he was told and probed deep into Xiao Yan's body. A moment later, he did indeed sense an extremely familiar mysterious energy. His eyes were suddenly opened as he exclaimed in shock, This, this is the Yin Yang mysterious dragon pill. Yao Lao smiled and nodded. He sighed, Fortunately, we have gotten one Yin Yang mysterious dragon pill from Han Feng back then. Otherwise, it will really be troublesome today. That's right. Now, the Yin Yang mysterious dragon pill is most suitable for him. The injuries within his body is even more severe than those of mine back then. He would definitely be able to completely activate all of medicinal strength within the Yin Yang mysterious dragon pill, Feng Zunzhe was a little excited. He immediately laughed it is indeed a great blessing. This time around, this little fellow might even get a blessing in disguise and break through to the Dozun class. This will depend on his luck. Yao Lao smiled and nodded. His mood had also relaxed a little. With the presence of the 3000 burning flame and the Yin Yang mysterious dragon pill, it would be difficult for Xiao Yan to die this time around even if he wanted to. Little fairy doctor and Zi Yan by the side also sighed in relief and appeared to have been relieved of a great burden after hearing the conversation of those two. Now, we should hurry back to the falling star pavilion. With the help of the meteorite strength there, Xiao Yan's injury will be healed a little faster. The tensed atmosphere of this place immediately relaxed after Xiao Yan's problem was resolved. Feng Zunzhe stood up. His eyes swept around him 
mused for a moment and said, this should be the northern desolated plains that is tens of thousands of kilometers from the Death Soul mountain range. There is still some distance to the Falling Star Pavilion. Therefore, we cannot delay any longer. Yes, the branch hall is destroyed and the Hall of Soul will most likely not allow this matter to rest. The terrain of the Falling Star Pavilion is unique and it is well hidden. It is an extremely good hiding spot. Yao Chen nodded. Currently, they must allow Xiao Yan to recover as soon as possible. There will be opportunities to settle the scores with the Hall of Soul in the future. Naturally, no one had any objections to Yao Lao's words. That big fellow Xiang Zhan came over and carried Xiao Yan on his back. Being large and tough, he was the best person to be entrusted with this task. However, little fairy doctor was worried about his rugged manner. Therefore, she continued to follow behind him. She was afraid that a bump might shake the currently extremely weak Xiao Yan until something happened. The entire group was all ready to get going after it had a target. After packing up briefly, they rose into the air and swiftly rushed towards the area where the Falling Star Pavilion was located. Chapter 1229, Falling Star Pavilion The Falling Star Pavilion was situated at the southern region of the Central Plains. Amongst the so-called four pavilions, the Falling Star Pavilion had the least number of disciples. Of course, their numbers might not make it but it was fortunate that the Falling Star Pavilion could pass in terms of quality. One must not underestimate a disciple from the Falling Star Pavilion due to the latter's young age should one end up meeting him. This was because the Falling Star Pavilion never recruit mediocre people. The Falling Star Pavilion did not only possess the least number of disciples amongst the four pavilions but it was also the most mysterious one. The other three pavilions built their headquarters in an extremely grand manner, causing one to be able to sense the great strength of this sect from a glance. However, the Falling Star Pavilion was different. Unless it was someone who had a great understanding of the Falling Star Pavilion, otherwise, it was likely that one would have difficulty even finding the location of the sect. This caused the Falling Star Pavilion to possess an additional mysterious feel to it from other people's perspective. The Pill region was at a greatest distance from the southern region. Even with the speed of Yao Lao's group, they had spent nearly half a month before truly entering the boundary of the southern region. After which, they spent another seven to eight days before coming to a stop after reaching the exterior area of the Sky Star mountain range in the southern region. The Falling Star Pavilion is located within the Sky Star mountain range. Haha, <laughs> the place is a little unique. If one did not possess a special entry method, even an elite Dozun would not be able to enter it. Feng Zunzhe also sighed in relief as he watched the familiar lush green mountain range. He turned his head and smilingly spoke to the weary little fairy doctor's group. Sky Star Mountain Range, it has been many years that I haven't visited this place. Yao Lao looked at the continuous mountain range and sighed. The Falling Star Pavilion was established by the two of us back then. However, you end up being an absent leader. Everything was done by me. It had caused me to end in a terrible state back then. Feng Zunzhe shook his head and said. Ha ha. Yao Lao laughed. I do not like these things. Back then, I have established this falling star pavilion because I was a little interested. Feng Zunzhe could only shake his head helplessly when he heard this. After which, he turned around and waved towards everyone. Next, he rushed hurriedly towards the mountain range. Little Fairy Doctor and the rest followed closely behind. The group flew for over ten minutes within this vast mountain range before Feng Zunzhe at the front finally came to a slow halt. Little Fairy Doctor and the others behind were startled. Their eyes swept in all directions but they only end up discovering that this place was still a lush green forest. Their surroundings did not possess any buildings nor was there any mountains. It was completely just an ordinary sea of trees. KK, this is the Great Falling Star Formation of the Falling Star Pavilion. This great formation is not man-made. Instead, it is naturally formed, Feng Zunzhe smiled slightly. An old jade appeared in his hand. After which, 
he flew out and a tread of strange star light spread out from within it. Light spread and the space in front actually became gradually distorted. Finally, it formed a large spatial door in front of the stunned gazes of Little Fairy Doctor's group. Let's go. Inside this place is the true headquarters of the Falling Star Pavilion, Feng Zunzhe smiled and took the lead to step into that large spatial door. Little Fairy Doctor and the rest behind hesitated for a moment before following him. After everyone entered, that large spatial door was finally turned invisible again. Little Fairy Doctor and the others sensed that the area in front of them became blurry for a moment after entering the large spatial door. The world in front of them appeared to have traveled through time as it suddenly changed. The originally endless sea of trees currently had a tall mountain appearing. There were some buildings that could be seen on the top of the mountain. One could even vaguely hear the cries from sparing. This is strictly speaking a realm that is created from the star strength of the meteorite. KK, of course, it cannot be compared with those large realms created by those elite Dou Shengs. The size of this place is merely similar to that of a city, Feng Zunzhe laughed. However, due to this place being naturally formed, its ability to hide is extremely great. Even an elite Dozun would have difficulty sensing the profoundness of this place should they fly past it. Little Fairy Doctor and the rest were also amazed when they heard this. Only Zi Yan curled her little lips. She already knew that this place had some mysteriousness to it when she looked over from outside earlier. Of course, she was the only one in this group who possessed such an ability. Sick. Soon after everyone had appeared in this realm, over a dozen large white cranes suddenly flew over from the distant mountain top. There were some human figures standing on those cranes. A green figure, who led them, rushed over. After which, the figure appeared in front of everyone. It was surprisingly Mu Qingluan, whom Xiao Yan had met once. Teacher. Mu Qingluan sighed in relief when she saw that the person who had come was Feng Zunzhe. She waved her hand and asked those white crane lingering in the midair to withdraw. Yes. Feng Zunzhe smilingly nodded. After which, he pointed towards Yao Lao beside him and said, Quick, come and greet the pavilion chief of our falling star pavilion. Mu Qingluan was startled when she heard this. She glanced at Yao Lao and suddenly discovered that the latter looked exactly the same as the drawing of the founder within the sect. Immediately, she understood that Feng Zunzhe was not joking and hurriedly spoke in a respectful manner, Ching Luan greets, Hall Chief. Yao Lao helplessly shook his head and spoke in fashion where he could neither laugh nor cry, You old fellow, you are purposefully trying to embarrass me. You are originally the Hall Chief of the Falling Star Pavilion. How could it embarrass you? Feng Zunzhe smiled. He turned his head towards Mu Qingluan and said, With Yao Zunzhe here in the future, all of you people are going to be blessed. Yao Zunzhe. Mu Qingluan's heart was quite shaken when she heard these words. Yao Lao's name back then was basically known by everyone within the Central Plains. She had occasionally heard Feng Zunzhe mention about him. However, she did not expect that she was actually able to meet him in person today. Forget it, don't listen to this old fellow talk nonsense. Let's settle Xiao Yan down first, Yao Lao waved his hand and said. Mu Qingluan's eyes moved when she heard this and saw Xiao Yan on the back of Xiang Zhan. She was involuntarily shocked when she saw the latter covered in fresh blood with only a breath left. Although she could not be said to have an extremely good understanding of Xiao Yan, she also understood that this fellow was not an ordinary person. Who could turn such a shrewd fellow into this manner? Let's go. This little fellow engaged in a head-on clash with a five-star Dozun. Although he broke one of the other party's arm, he had also been beaten until he is seriously injured. Feng Zunzhe sighed and explained. Buzz. The head of Mu Qingluan by the side began to buzz when Feng Zunzhe's sigh fell. She stared at Xiao Yan in a stunned manner. This fellow actually dared to exchange blow with an elite Dozun. Moreover, it was someone who had reached the level of a five-star Dozun. This strength was something that even her teacher, Feng Zunzhe had never reached, moreover, 
the thing that really caused the corner of her mouth to twitch was that this fellow had actually even broken one of the other party's arm. Mu Qingluan wiped off some cold sweat. A moment later, she finally recovered gradually. A bitter laughter appeared in his heart. Just what did this fellow do during this one year? Back then, just a northern pavilion chief of the Wind Lightning Pavilion had already managed to chase after him until he fled in all directions like a dog which had lost its home. Yet, within this short one year, his opponent had already directly leaped from the Dozone class to the Dozun class. Mu Qingluan turned her body around while her head was still a little dazzled. She led the group to head up to the mountain top. After which, she obeyed Feng Zunzhe's instruction and arranged for Little Fairy Doctor and the others to settle down. After doing all these, she finally recovered from the shock that Feng Zunzhe's words brought. A strange thought suddenly rose within her heart. If that Feng Qing Er was to meet Xiao Yan now, I wonder just what kind of interesting expression she will have. After settling the weary Little Fairy Doctor's group down, Yao Lao and Feng Zunzhe carried Xiao Yan and directly rushed to the back mountain. A moment later, a dark black stone tower appeared in their sight. This stone tower was built in an extremely crude manner. It was described as a stone tower but it looked more like an ugly black stone pillar. Although its exterior appearance was ugly, this rock pillar was the place with the strongest star strength within this area. This was because this was coincidentally the point where that meteorite from space gathered the star strength. Feng Zunzhe carried Xiao Yan and leaped onto the top of the stone tower. This top level was around 30 to 40 feet wide. There was a black stone stage within it. The top of the stone stage was only 5 feet wide. If one looked through the space, one would coincidentally be able to see that clear sky. This meteorite not only gathered star strength but it was also able to absorb the star strength from space. This stone stage was the gathering spot for these two strengths that were absorbed. Feng Zunzhe carefully placed Xiao Yan on the stone stage. At this moment, the latter had both of his eyes shut tightly. There was barely any breath left. Even the sound of his breathing was unusually weak. His entire person was no different from that of a dying person. Xiao Yan's body had just lied on the stone stage when a wave of dense star strength permeated out from the stone platform. After which, it continued to gather into his body. Purple-brown flame curled and rose at this moment. It transformed into a circular fire barrier that covered the entire of Xiao Yan's body. Feng Zunzhe and Yao Lao rejoiced instead of being shocked when they saw this scene. At this moment, the 3000 burning flame was increasing dense. Xiao Yan's injuries would thus recover increasingly quickly. This falling star stage is indeed not bad, Yao Lao sighed in his heart and softly said. KK, there is no need to be worried. As long as there is sufficient star strength to support it, the 3000 burning flame will never be extinguished. Xiao Yan would also make a complete recovery from his injuries, Feng Zunzhe laughed. Yao Lao nodded gently. Let's go. Allow him to stay here alone quietly and recuperate. This recuperation period will likely be long. We can only wait. Yao Lao smiled and nodded. It did not matter how long or short it would take. As long as Xiao Yan was able to recover the injuries within his body, the length of time needed did not matter. Little fellow, take care. Teacher is still waiting for you to help me refine a body. Yao Lao smiled slightly as he watched the pain on Xiao Yan's face reduce a little when the flame rose. Only then did he wore a tired expression between his brows and quietly withdraw from this stone tower with Feng Zunzhe. This place became completely silent after these two people withdrew. Only that purple-brown flame burned fiercely in a tireless manner. Xiao Yan, who was within the flame, was just like a phoenix bath in a flame, waiting for the moment that he would be reborn. Chapter 1230, Time Flies The arrival of Yao Lao's group had undoubtedly caused the Falling Star Pavilion to become unusually lively. The disciples within the Falling Star Pavilion and even some elders were extremely curious about this pavilion chief that only existed in legend. The Falling Star Pavilion was basically developed by Feng Zunzhe alone during these years. Even though this was the case, 
Feng Zunzhe had also been leaving the spot of the pavilion chief empty. He did not have any intention of sitting on it. This was because he ultimately believed that Yao Lao would sooner or later return to the Falling Star Pavilion. This position was something that he had reserved for Yao Lao. This day had also ultimately arrived like he had anticipated. Hence, after settling the matter of Xiao Yan, he had gathered all the disciples of the Falling Star Pavilion the next day and announced the matter of returning the pavilion chief position. This kind of matter was undoubtedly extremely shocking to the Falling Star Pavilion. In the past, the Falling Star Pavilion had been treating Feng Zunzhe as the leader. Currently, their true leader was going to change. The disciples below were naturally not very used to it. Fortunately, this unaccustomed manner did not last for very long before it was broken by another excitement. Even these fledgling younger generation did not feel unfamiliar with the name Yao Zunzhe. Some of the older elders were even filled with wild joy within their hearts. They were extremely experienced and were clearly aware just what kind of position and reputation Yao Lao from back then had in the central plains. If one was to really discuss about his reputation and status, it was likely that even the three great heads from the Pill Tower would be slightly inferior. With such a person being the pavilion chief, why would the falling star be worried of not being strong? Yao Lao could only smile bitterly in the face of such a situation. However, he did not reject anything this time around. After having experienced the matters that had happened during these years, he also understood that unless one's strength was so great to the point that no one was able to resist one, there would ultimately be quite a big gap between a person and a faction. Back then, he was at a disadvantage in being too free and unfettered. Hence, he ended up being viciously attacked by the Hall of Soul after the latter found an opportunity. Since he possessed the chance to do everything again, he would naturally be unwilling to see this matter repeating itself. Additionally, Xiao Yan would definitely come to a true face-off with the Hall of Soul if he wished to rescue his father. At that time, Xiao Yan would require some faction supporting him from behind. This time around, Xiao Yan had risked death to rescue him. This had caused Yao Lao to place all of his thoughts on this disciple. Currently, he could be considered to be making some prior plans for Xiao Yan. Feng Zunzhe sighed in relief within his heart when he saw that Yao Lao did not find any excuse to reject the post this time around. He had always thought that the Falling Star Pavilion belonged to Yao Lao in his heart. During these years, he was merely helping the latter manage it. Now that Yao Lao had returned, he would naturally need to return it back. The relationship between him and Yao Lao could be considered to be friends who had undergone life and death together. Feng Zunzhe was able to search around bitterly for so many years because of Yao Lao. What did a mere pavilion chief position matter? Moreover, he was also extremely clear about Yao Lao's character. He did not specialize in management. At that time, he would still be the one to have a headache over these matters. After settling Xiao Yan down, Feng Zunzhe and Yao Lao decided to shut the mountain door first because they were afraid of the revenge by the Hall of Soul that could interrupt Xiao Yan's recuperation. With the protection of the Great Falling Star Formation, it was likely that the Hall of Soul would not be able to extend its limbs over. Everything would be discussed after Xiao Yan wakes up. No one objected to the matter of shutting the mountain entrance. Although this realm could not be compared with the Pill Realm, its size was also quite large. There would not be much of a problem staying here for years. Moreover, the energy in this place was dense. The effect of one's training would be many times better than the outside world. Little Fairy Doctor's group naturally chose to remain behind with the mountain entrance shut. Xiao Yan had yet to awaken. How could she leave first? There was similarly no objections to Little Fairy Doctor's group remaining behind. The strength of these people could be considered top level even in the central plains. If they could remain in the Falling Star Pavilion, they would undoubtedly greatly strengthen the defense of this place. After the mountain entrance was shut, time also began to quietly flow by amidst this beautiful greenery. Two months passed within the blink of an eye. Everything was extremely quiet during these two mouths. The expected Hall of Soul Revenge did not occur. During this period of time, 
Feng Zunzhe had also dispatched people to investigate. The central plains was still as lively as before. However, there was no news of any big activity from the Hall of Seoul. Not even a little news of the branch hall being destroyed was released. Clearly, the Hall of Seoul has locked the news. Yao Lao and Feng Zunzhe were surprised at this situation. Given the character of the Hall of Seoul, it was impossible for them to endure for so long without taking action. It seemed that there should be something restraining the limbs of the Hall of Seoul, causing them to only be able to temporarily place this matter aside. However, the Hall of Seoul not seeking any trouble also allowed Yao Lao and Feng Zunzhe to sigh in relief. The current Falling Star Pavilion was no match for the Hall of Seoul. If they were to begin a war now, the Falling Star Pavilion would end up suffering a serious blow. It would also not be impossible for the Falling Star Pavilion to be unable to recover from it. The Hall of Seoul had given them an opportunity to recuperate. Naturally, Yao Lao and the rest did not waste the time. After having recovered some life force, he began to continuously find some of the methods to cause the strength of the Falling Star Pavilion to be strengthened. Time flowed by. Within the blink of an eye, another month had passed. Xiao Yan, who was within the stone tower, still did not show any trace of awakening. However, the originally pale and bloodless face of Xiao Yan had currently gradually become sleek red. His breathing also became normal. He was no longer like a person that was about to die like in the past. All of these indicated that the injuries within Xiao Yan's body was currently gradually recovering. His awakening was only a matter of time. During this one month, Little Fairy Doctor's group also took a position of elders within the Falling Star Pavilion after Feng Zunzhe invited them with great effort. Although they were only guest elders, they were at the very least being pulled to the side of the Falling Star Pavilion. Little Fairy Doctor was noncommittal towards Feng Zunzhe attempt to draw her ov. Yao Lao was Xiao Yan's teacher. Currently, the former was also the chief of the Falling Star Pavilion. In the future, Xiao Yan might also end up being the pavilion chief of this Falling Star Pavilion. In that case, it did not matter for her to become a nominal elder. Tian Huo Zunzhe also agreed to Feng Zunzhe's invitation after hesitating for a period of time. In any case, there was currently nowhere for him to go. It was also good for him to find a place to settle down. Zi Yan was playful in nature. Her agreement with Feng Zunzhe was completely based on her whim. Moreover, with her joining, that Xiang Zhan could only nod his head with her coercing him. Feng Zunzhe and the elders of the Falling Star Pavilion smiled happily in the face of this powerful group joining them. Three Dozun class experts joining them together. This weight was quite a great one. Just this alone would likely cause the Falling Star Pavilion to leap and truly become the top of the four pavilions. However, all of them forgotten that should Yao Lao completely recover his peak strength in the future, just his ability to gather people alone would likely cause the Falling Star Pavilion to become quite a strong faction within the entire Central Plains. There was no need to even discuss about the four pavilions. Time flowed like water. Spring passed and autumn arrived. A greenish-yellow color was added onto the lush green mountain forest. Half a year's time flowed by without one realizing it. However, Xiao Yan had still yet to wake. Although everyone could sense that the condition within his body was becoming increasingly good, he still did not show any signs of awakening. Even Yao Lao felt somewhat helpless in the face of this scene. The only one who could be relied on regarding this matter was Xiao Yan himself. During this period of time, the back mountain had been labeled as the forbidden ground of the Falling Star Pavilion. Other than Feng Zunzhe's group, even the Falling Star Pavilion's elders were forbidden from entering. This situation naturally attracted the curiosity of all the Falling Star Pavilion disciples. However, after much inquiry, they were only aware that there was a young man called Xiao Yan in the Stone Tower, who recuperating while undertaking a retreat. Do Chi Continent Northwestern Region, Jiama Empire, Jiama Sacred City. Any citizen of the Jiama Empire were aware that the true ruler of this empire was no longer the Jiama Imperial family. Instead, it was an alliance. This alliance was called the Yan Alliance. 
Yan, the Yan from Xiao Yan. Every person within the Jiuma Empire were aware that the founder of this absolute overlord within the current Jiuma Empire was a person called Xiao Yan. He had personally ended a misty cloud sect era within the Jiuma Empire and began another Yan Alliance era. In the hearts of all the younger generation within the Jiuma Empire, this name represented a kind of honor and hard work. This was because everyone were clearly aware that the person who had created this miracle was called a trash back then. There was a grand and towering large hall in the middle of the Jiuma sacred city. The large hall was extremely tall. Its top overlooked the entire city. This place was currently the place with the greatest authority within the Jiuma Empire. At this moment, the top of this heavily guarded large hall was a lady wearing a brilliant robe. She stood with her hands behind her. The figure of this lady was extremely bewitching. Even with the somewhat loose robe, it was still difficult to hide her demon-like curves that would cause one to be attracted. A faint moonlight scattered down from the sky shining on her beautiful face that would cause one to involuntarily cease breathing. The first impression that this beautiful appearance gave one was a kind of demonic-like bewitching feeling. Her red lips were curled slightly. This arc enchanted everyone. However, there was a kind of pressure from a person of great authority between those narrow brows. An enchanting and majestic feeling coexisted. This caused that charm of hers to instantly reach the peak. At this moment, this lady, who possessed an bewitching appearance that could enchant everyone was frowning slightly. She raised her head and looked at the bright moon. A skinny figure lingered continuously in her eyes. It has likely been five to six years. Xiao Yan, you have promised this queen that you will return. If you eat your words, I will tear your corpse into tens of thousands of pieces even if you die. The bewitching lady clenched her hand slightly. A complicated expression flashed over those pretty eyes that were filled with allure. Mother. An unusually tender voice that carried the tone of a baby suddenly sounded from behind this alluring lady while she was softly muttering to herself. The icy cold expression on the face of this bewitching lady immediately disappeared upon hearing this voice. A kind of beautiful smile that even Xiao Yan had never seen before surfaced. After which, she swiftly turned around and looked in the direction that the voice had arrived from. The place where the voice originated from was a flight of stone stairs. At this moment, there was a two-year-old or so child on her bare little legs. The thing that caused one to feel surprise was that this little child was suspended half an inch from the ground without borrowing any support. Standing in empty air. This was something that only an elite dozone could achieve. That jade carving like face of the little girl made her appear like an exquisite porcelain doll. It caused only to like her so much to the point of being unable to let her go. A pair of dark black intelligent eyes appeared exceptionally sly under the moonlight. When the lady looked over, the clothes of the little child wiggled and a seven colored small snake came out from under her clothes. After which, it laid on the white tender small arm of the child. It hissed and extended its snake's tongue. From this appearance of it, it was surprisingly exactly the same as the seven-colored heaven-swallowing python from back then.